What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button up here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to start a series of videos of underwater wreck penetration while diving in a side mount configuration. And if you saw our compilation video that we did of all the penetrations we made up at Lake Phoenix, we decided to break that entire compilation down clip by clip and show you exactly how we made those penetrations and how we kept it safe for us as well. Now, a quick disclaimer, if you are a side mount diver, please don't go out and try these penetrations without proper training. It takes more than just a side mount certification and a rec certification to do this. Plus, if you are trained to do this, make sure that you have a buddy there with you to assist you in the event that you were to get stuck or something like that. But without further ado, we're going to jump into the first video and we're going to look at the, the car wreck penetration first and I'll kind of walk you through why we decided to do what we did in that particular penetration. So before I hit play here for you, I do want to kind of set the scene up and kind of talk about why we decided to make the entry from the driver's side to, over to the passenger side and talk about some of the hazards here. First of all, anytime you deal with, say, a wreck, whether it's a shipwreck or a car or a helicopter or something like that, you're probably going to have some rusted metal under there. So the, one of the things that we consider is, first of all, is can we get through that vehicle or through that penetration area? And number two, is it going to damage us or damage the wreck? Now, we didn't really have that much rusted metal on here, so we wasn't worried about it damaging us or our equipment or anything like that. And we decided to make our entry point the smallest area first. So by coming through the driver's side first, you'll see that steering wheel is kind of put pushed up into our pathway creating a narrower section and we knew that if we could get through that narrow section we would very easily be able to get through the rest of the vehicle. Now we have penetrated this vehicle several times. We went from the windshield through the back window and vice versa. We've even came down through the sunroof as well but for the shot we decided to go from the driver's side over to the passenger side and just a quick little setup. You'll notice that my daughter is actually hovering up on top of that vehicle. There's two reasons she's there. One is for safety concerns. If we get say stuck she can help push us down but also she's there to donate air in the event that we get stuck maybe we have a catastrophic failure with our reg or something like that she's able to donate air directly through or to us through that opening of the sunroof there so I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and I'm gonna kind of explain how I'm penetrating and why I decided to move which bottles I decided to move so as I go through you'll notice my right bottle is extended out in front I'm actually gunning it out in front of me and that's my long hose bottle so it was very easy for me to extend that out my left bottle is my short hose bottle and that's what's actually attached to my BCD and I wanted to keep that uh, attached to it. I didn't want to have to gun it out. Although that is one reason I use standard length low pressure hoses so I can gun it out and still have control of the BCD. But I decided to push or gun the right bottle out, leave my left bottle attached. That way I can control and manipulate my buoyancy with that. And then I just did a little quick kick off there of the vehicle to push through. Now David's going to come through. This with his system, he's diving a dive right system, he's got the ring bungees, is a little bit easier, he's got slightly more stretch than I do, he was able to simply wing the bottle, push it forward, but same principle, his BC is controlled by his left bottle, and he was able to push through very easily. Now you will notice his bladder gets stuck slightly, and it's because he's got way too much air in his bladder, um, because he is overweighted, but he's not overweighted because he put on too much weight, he's overweighted because his tank choice. Now David dives two steel 85s, and with his five mil that is going to make him slightly overweighted so he's got to add a little bit extra air in his bladder to balance out his trim and his buoyancy in the water column but yet again he was able to make it through this is actually one of the funner uh, penetrations at Lake Phoenix I really like the car penetration because there was so many uh, penetration entry and exit points there you can literally go through the front windows the back windows you can go through the sunroof you can go through the windshield or the the back uh, side of the vehicle. You can actually zigzag through if you want to. It makes it a little difficult when you're trying to go around the seats, but it's a fun little penetration and it's shallow. It's like 25 feet max, but it's a great little penetration for you to make there at Lake Phoenix. Once again, make sure you're properly trained. You need more than just a side mount and rig certification, you're going to need an advanced wreck or even some type of cave or cavern cert that's going to teach you how to go through restrictions, things like that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because we've got plenty in this series coming out. We're going to 
to be walking through each of those penetrations you saw in our compilation video. And I'll link that somewhere up top down below if you want to rewatch it. It's a cool little fun video as well. But guys, if you like this penetration video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But once again, share the video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did like it. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.